Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Now I found these and I did find these but I don't think I want to use this colour. I could want to use a feather though because I do like a bit of a bit of variety. <gasps> Look at this one, these have got orange on them. <gasps> wow, I'm gonna have a couple of feathers in it. <laughs> you just didn't know this was gonna happen, did you? Neither did I. <laughs> I had nothing. I had no idea. This come off a fascinator. So therefore it's really stuck together really good in this bit here. It just seems like it's um if I pull them off they're gonna take off on me. But you know what? I'll have to try and see if I can get one or two because I really think I need one there. And this here can be a leaf because a lot of the other leaves that I found were only like this. I do have um maybe I should look a bit further because I do have different sorts and I've got a, a string of them which I'm not really a fan of these but I've also got those which I don't mind if you can see that I'd have to just zoom this back out a bit so you can see what I'm playing at here but I'm going to put something like this down here I think or, or and or use some of these you need you need a variety of things so you can play with you do because you can be limited to just thread down and do some amazing things with that. You don't have to add bits and pieces. You can do some really amazing things with just some needle, and, you know, a piece of thread and some um, fabric. I can't get it off here. I've got two bits. And you've got a... I have to have the fan on, I'm sorry, because it's really hot in here and you don't want me to expire. <laughs> That'd be bad if I did, if there's expiring going on used by date or something um right what would i do with this now where can i put this uh, it's i like the fact that it's there you know it's a natural feather but i, I don't know what i can do with it I just drop wipe my hands and clean them with the, with the wipes and I think it was still a bit wet then and dry myself properly okay nah. maybe that's not going to work today I might just let that blow away somewhere eh? <laughs> just let that go I'll let that go um, I do like the butterfly I do like those two things I've, I'm enjoying doing this so whether I put this up a few days after one another or not I don't know yet what to do with it I don't know whether to use this big bit. I still think I need to fill that in more with some beads or something. Um, and I might use this for the leaves, leaves, the petals. Use them, make leaves out of them because I love the colour. I do love the colour, and some of them have got a pinky tone to them. But I've got a smaller one here that I might grab hold of. This one here, um, been in the centre bit. Put him on the end of there, couldn't I? Put the whole thing there. Mm, what do you reckon? The whole thing or just a bit? Just a the odd piece or something. Cut that off. The whole thing. It's covering up a lot of that though, isn't it? So it is. Put it up there. Maybe I could go with a bit more yellow on here. Something a bit more yellow. Orange. Oh yes, I've got some oh, a nice piece there with orange on it. Nice orange petal bit. I do like that, but I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it up. This is a soft bit of silk flower. <laughs> well that happened. Sorry. Yeah, maybe some maybe we need a bit of that there. Maybe we do. Let's see what I can do if I can just cut the two together. Yeah, like that. Maybe this bit over the top. 
Uh, it's all trial and error, you know. It's just, well, sometimes it might be good not an error, but mostly it is trial and error for these things. Pretend that's coming out the back of there, or not. Uh, I just have to sort this out, because I don't actually do um, sketches of my designs at all. I'm not into that thing, because I wouldn't stick to the plan probably anyway, you know. It's just the way that I deal with things. I probably would not stick to the plan. I think we put this on here and use orange thread on it. I think that's what I'm going to do. That's too light. And this one, is so these big ones here, I was going to... See, I wanted some more little ones like this, but I've got a feeling I've used all those on something because I can't find them. You know, because that's a really good, this is a really good way to get them and cut that. I don't know if I can cut it out smaller, I suppose I can. We can try anything, can't we, really? It's a little chubby, but it might work. I might like it thinner. But then it won't look so, hang on, I can do this wiggly thing. Oops. Look at that, never underestimate your ability. Because <laughs> that does look like it could be a leaf, doesn't it? Brilliant. Oh, and then I got that bit left there. I'll do something with that. I do like this, but I need another one. I need another one because that's the wrong amount. I do need another one. Give me this ear bit back again. I'll put that, I'll put a pin in it. I hope I don't make a hole. Um, Let's see what I can do with this piece. Like I said, don't underestimate your ability. No, that's wrong. Ah, <laughs> ah dear, 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 dear. You. <laughs> Sonia, that's not good. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Everybody hang on, hang on. Hang on. I do just wait a minute now, wait a minute. I might have to cut off up that last leaf that I've got there because I think I've bodged this up something frightful. So I need it to go under here or down here somewhere, I think. Maybe I could just use one of these small ones. See what that looks like. Very insignificant, that bloke, isn't he? Look at this, I'm going to cut this up. Doesn't that sound sad? <laughs> I'll take the top of it. What do you reckon? Do you think I can do this bit? Yeah, it's got a little bit of colour around it. I mean, you want it to be a little bit thinner than that. And just look leaf like down here, down here. All right, a little bit smaller on that bottom on this point here. I think we need we'll take it in a little bit on that point. Okay. Right, now I'm liking, what do you think? Okay, let's sew it and see. Let's sew it and see. But you see, we've got, still got heaps of stuff that we want to put on here, okay? I still want to put so much more on here. Maybe I'll go with some big other beads on that. I don't know yet. But I've got to get these two down, so I'm going to glue. I'll glue one at a time and then stick it. This one here is still too wide. He's still too wide. He needs to be a bit slimmer. Let's cut a little bit off him there like that. And see what that looks like. That's a bit weird. It looks like a... It is a leaf shape, but it's the wrong sort of thing for what I'm doing. Isn't it? It's not right. Oh dear. <laughs> By the time I... Um, Stitch over it. Well, if I'm going to keep cutting, I'm going to have none left in a minute. 
By the time I stitch over it, it should look alright. Okay. That's not good. Look out, here we go. <laughs> Here's another one. Let's just destroy another one. I'll find some more. I'll definitely be on the lookout for more of these. Righto. Um, again, that size there. And I've got to do it like this because... So this is going to be too wide too now. Oh dear, oh dear. Here's me making a kerfuffle of this. I should have cut it first, then worried about the wiggly bit, shouldn't I? Alright. Now I can worry about the wiggly bit. When it's a bit thinner. This is going to end up with nothing here in a minute, Sonia. Not good. I'm not going to take any more of that. I'm going to leave it like it is. It looks good like that. I'm going to stick with that bit. I'll stick to that. Okay. I'll have a pin to put in it so I can get it stuck down. <coughs> I'm going to put this one up here. Hang on, we're still connected to the butterfly. Goodness me, we was, I ended off the last video, I suppose, and I'm still fixing him up. And he's right there, he's done. I think. When you look at things later and have a look and see what, what you reckon anyway. So now I'm going to do different stitches around these ones. I'm going to put that from there, I think. Yep, yeah, that looks good there. Maybe a bit of sticky glue there along, along that track. Just a, just a bit to hang on to it. Oh dear, I'm going to maybe not sew down there because I'm going to do a different sort of stitch around this one so we won't know what's going to happen yet, will we? Now we need a needle. There's be some of those about. I'm sure I would have one. Threaded and thrown on the table. That's how we work. There it is. And I want a different colour thread on it. And what I've got on the other thing, I've got that bright one, a really bright one, or oh, I have this variegated one. I'm going to go with the variegated one because then I'll go, I'm going to get around the outside of this in a blanket stitch and I'm going to be able to um, see what that looks like. And there's another thing too I thought about trying, putting the blanket stitch on the wrong way. I'll show you that after on something else, which is something I was thinking about. <laughs> I just... Not doing it the wrong way, but having it sitting out with a pointy bit sitting out instead of going in. <laughs> you know, I don't know. If that would make something pointy, wouldn't it? Then if you did that. I might not need to put any more on that when I've done these other stuff. It might look really good. So I've got three strands of, of, of what's name, a variegated cotton here. And it's, I have had, been having a lot of trouble this morning threading my needles for some reason. I... I've got a um, thing I watched a lady do one day, which she did it with a piece of paper. Now, <laughs> if I caught all them, I don't think I did. I think I missed one look. I did two. You know what? I'm going to be really... I was going to just use the two that I got through the hole. <laughs> but then that's going to ha happen. Look at that, I'm only going to use those two because I've fretted them. <laughs> ah dear, I'm naughty. I can't help it, I just... <laughs> <laughs> this is how we craft with me, isn't it? You'd probably be seeing too much of this, but anyway, I do like to do different things, as you well know. I do like to do different stuff, so I'm sure there's only two in that. Yeah, there is. Right -o. Is that stuck there yet? Oh, good. I might stick this one too down then. Hopefully it'll stick while I'm working on the other one. Don't forget to put the thing back in there, Sonia. The, the pin back in the, the glue. The pin back in the glue. So it'll come out properly. There we go. Right. Okay. Maybe like that. Wrong, because it's not going to... It's going to stick past the bottom. We don't want that happening. That wouldn't be good, would it? Because you need... I should have put some um, tape along that. I don't want it to pull undone that much, so I've got nothing left. It's very fray-y, if that's a word. Very fray. 
and I'm going to have to cut some off that because when I put it behind it'll be under there oh no it won't if I just be careful I want to take it back that far I think I might have been right there we go stop that fraying thing going on okay now we've got this one mouthful of juice now I'm drinking the Oh, gee, that gives you a bit of a bite first thing. Well, it's not first thing, but first <laughs> first drink of it of the morning. Now, I'm going to go, I'll start over here. I'll turn that around. I'm going to do a blanket stitch around the outside. I'll try and give it a bit of a structured point on it, if I can make some bit pointy bits. I don't know if I can, though. I don't want them fair next to one another. They can be a little bit apart. Just make them nice and even around the outside. If you can, it doesn't matter. Whoops, I missed a bit. That went through the thread. Now you weren't paying attention there, Sonia, because that's not good. Put it back in under there. And hopefully I haven't got, there we go. So be careful. I only got two strands now, and that's pretty good. That looks good. I like it. I'm going to try and make that look like it's behind there a tiny bit. Won't fit, but anyway. Now around the outside of here. Now I'll put a blanket stitch around the edge of that piece of um, of, of lace. Embro uh, it was like a piece of a doily, lacy thingy. <laughs> it's lace, so yeah. So this is not going to matter that I did cut it. You know, like a zigzaggy, because it's not going to be that effect when you've finished it. You can't see that, so it doesn't matter, does it, really? But I wanted to put it around that. So we want to do some different stitches. Actually, we've already got that on there, but never mind. It's okay. We can do whatever we want, can't we? We just, as long as we're doing some sewing and having some fun with it. I'm not coming too far in there now I was getting a bit carried away now when I come to a corner like this I like to get down behind the back of it because I do not want it to lift up it's a pointy bit it's not actually a corner but I like to flatten that down then I'll come back up through the same space that I would have been coming out of anyway without coming up through the, exactly the same space and keep going around the corner okay because um, that'll hold that down now Unless I did actually come back up, <laughs> I'm a bit worried about that. It looks like I could have done. Okay. So we get round here. I'll do a different stitch on the other one. I have to do more in the centre of this too. I've got to come up with that. I'll, I'll come up with that idea real easy in a minute. Just worry, don't worry about that. It'll, it'll happen. It's not really abstract, is it? It's more or less of a, an applique bits or something. <laughs> hasn't got a, hasn't really got a thing. Applique with stitching. And down in here. Make sure I push a, a piece of thread down behind there, so you look like it's fastened to it. And we're going to unturn. Gonna end that off because now I'm trying to decide whether to put that through the middle or some white because uh, this here variegated one is what I was using but it didn't come I didn't get to the lighter color did I there's any lighter on this bit that I just pulled off there was a small piece wasn't there here when that gone that's gone come on here Right. Yeah. Didn't go much lighter, did it? Mm. Right. I only want one strand anyway, so I'll use this. 
Well, I'm thinking I would like put white in that. I don't know why, but I have that idea that I'd put. Then that'll. I don't know. I might just use this one. I'll think about that on something else later, eh? Can't put everything on the one piece. So, well, there we go. It's only a small bit. Should have made it a lot bigger, but I'll do another one later. Bit, be a bit more fibre like this one. I want to put more fibres into it. This has not got any in it at all. And I was planning on doing that, but you know what? Sometimes plans don't go to plan, do they? I'm going to do a fly stitch down there, feather stitch down this to make it. Um, well, sort of feather stitch, I suppose. I'm going to go to the there. Come down that way. And come over this way. Oops. Come up here and go down into there. Uh, this is going to work. We'll see. If I'm doing it properly or not. Yeah, just don't take it down too far in the middle. Because you've got to come up either side. You don't want it too long. So you can get enough little vein things on there. See? That's pretty cool. Bring them up through there. Take it down into the centre. Make sure that goes underneath your needle. Don't hook it up to your beads. This is a way, good way to attach your leaf, isn't it? And I like to use these silk bits because they they don't fray and you can use um, of course you can use wool and you can use felt. I like that these are not that thick though, it just depends what you're working on, what sort of things you want to actually it to actually look like, you see, don't you? Goes down in there, comes back over here. And that's enough. Yep. Take it through the back. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? I reckon. Looks like a leaf. That's the idea, isn't it? Yep. So they're all different sorts. Yeah, that orange thing is really starting to stress me out now. I think I need more on it or some for something just to calm it down a tiny bit. It's got to blend in a bit more with the with the design, and it seems to be sitting out there on its own for the time being. And we'll figure out something to do with it, surely. Whether I put some green through it and try to bring it through, you know, like because this is not dark enough. Throw them about there and see what I think. Yes, that could work. That could dim that would work. That could work. We we'll do that job, maybe. We will do this in a minute though, so we've got to finish our other leaf now. So we're going to put a. I might have to have a different colour again, a different greeny thing. That's a different green. That's what I got here. I like this one. I like how that looks on there. Maybe this is a darker one. This is a darker one. I use the darker one. Brighter colour, I should say. It's a brighter one. Well, the hands would be good if they did what I wanted them to. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, there's an issue with that. <laughs> you think you're doing something, your brain's not got that connected in properly, and so you're not doing the right thing, are you? Just try and push that through the edge. Okay, I'll show you the trick the lady told us about. I need a piece of paper. I'm going to see if this works. I've seen her do it, but will it work for me? You see, will it work for me? Now I'll drop that on the floor. Went under the chair. I only need a small bit anyway. You only need a small bit. Only has to be a small bit. She started out with a great big sheet of it. You don't have to do that because then she did it, she folded it too. It was nearly 
this size and then she made the thing, you know. So anyway, you fold it in half like that. Sort of. Alright. You put your thread in between there. Lay your thread down in there. Alright, fold it in half. Cut this on an angle like that. Like that. Still got your thread in there. You push it through the needle. It's there somewhere. We can see it. <laughs> um, how do you get it? Wait a minute, it might be too wide. This bit's too wide. So let's cut it thinner so I can get that piece out of there. I don't know if it'll go through now, it's sticking out. Wait a minute, I'll push it down in a bit further. Work for the lady, if she did it, I don't know. Must have been on something on Facebook I've seen. I, sometimes they put up their ideas on things. I hope I can get it through further this time so I can get that bit. How am I going to get it out? Come on. Well, I've done it. <laughs> there you go. Works. Look. Okay. Very good. It works. Well, I seen her do it, so I thought, well, she did it, so I should be able to. But sometimes when people say they're going to show you to do something and it's not, you know, you don't know whether it's going to be right or not. So that worked all right, didn't it? That was pretty cool. I like that idea. Okay, so let's do around the edge of this one. I'm going to do a straight stitch, a back stitch around here, I think, to start with on this one. Go up there and go back a bit down in there. Am I going to do a back stitch? Yeah, I guess so, because I want to do something different on all of them. I'm not actually going on to the leaf. I'm going around the edge of the leaf, making stitches that I think might be a tiny bit too big. But anyway, we'll just keep working towards it and see what happens. Because I have this idea that I'm going to put a different stitch around the edge of here. You move out of my way now, that's not nice. Mm -hmm. And we're going to use the outline one, of course, to, to attach it to the other bit. But we've got to do the outline back stitch first. Try not to make your stitches too long. Sonia's not doing a very good job of that, I'm afraid. They are, they're not too bad. There they are. But you've got to do a back stitch. So you get back in there where you come out and you put that up there. And you probably should have them a lot smaller but it just depends because I don't necessarily need this to be really smaller I just want it to be a, a feature on the on the leaf okay so I'm going around the outside my leaf I'm not timing myself again I'm sorry about that I figure when I do a couple of things I guess I'll just switch it off then I suppose I I hope this doesn't go too far though. I don't think it will. I actually I, had, I know what a bit about what time it was, so how long was taking me to do it. And when I'm looking at this, I'm looking and I'm saying that I don't need I do need something yellow over here. I'm just gonna put that there to show you. You've got to put your, to me, you need to put your work to, you know, so it'll come get together. And it will, after a while, when I get it, I just, when I'm looking at it, that's what I'm thinking. Now, that's a big stitch there. Sonia went too far, maybe. We won't worry about that, though. We're going to keep going. So I can just still, I can still use it. It's not like I won't be able to use it, because I will. All right. Now, I'm going to go back around here and do this um, I'll do a blanket stitch around here to raise this up so it doesn't go through anything right it just goes around three stitches so this will be 
open a bit because I want it to be, I didn't want it to be too closed in. I missed that bit, sorry. So just make it so it's open, so don't pull it up too tight. You can pick up your pieces under the bottom of your back stitch. And you want to go, whoops, unthreaded that. And you need to, oh, after all that good work, I've unthreaded it now. I've got to go back in there, so that's good. <laughs> okay, that's all good threading. Not too tight. And I haven't caught my leaf at all, so I'm needing to stick him down, and I? I need to glue him down. That's what I'm going to do, because I, want it, I don't want stitches through there just at the moment. So I'm going to glue down that edge. If I can get this thing off, oh, unstuck to myself. That made sense, sorry about that. You get your leaf under there, not your sewing. Push your leaf under there, Sonia. Not the, not the thread. Don't do the thread, don't stick that down. Oh, come on. We should have thought of that before, right? We should not have kept going until we stuck that down, righto? Lift it up. So that's sitting down there. Oh, I don't know. Now we can do the rest of it. Glue, glue the rest of it down. Which I hope is not going to make it too hard for me to... Well, it won't, because I'll just work above the leaf, okay? Oh, I do in there. Right, there's something there fraying off there. Right, let's keep going. It'll sit down any minute now. Right, so we're going to go on the next one. I better use this part of me, this end of the needle so I can get underneath that, but don't stick it through your um, leaf. And this has to go underneath there. Right. Sit down, please. So glue your leaves on earlier. <laughs> you glue them on earlier. I'm going to need a lot of more thread too, I'd say. But look at this, I'm running out there. And put this down in here. You need your work down to the bottom your thread and you need to do this not too tight okay and just lift that up and pull it down lift it up and pull it down right so we still need to see that we've got our leaf underneath it so we do not necessarily want it pulled too tight either that been unthreaded yet again and that's because the needle the eye the needle is pretty open. I do like the effect of that is having on there, don't you? That's nice. Down this way, under there, pull it up. This is one. This is a lot bigger. This, this stitch, but that doesn't matter. I'm just going to take it down there, and I'm not going to worry about it because I'm going to like it anyway. Not like this is not sticking down, is it? Hope I've put some glue under that bit. Thought I did. I used to say that to mum about you know. If I said I thought something, she'd say, you know what thought did, don't you? And I thought, well, <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> My mother sort of said some weird things to us kids. I never understood what her thoughts process was. I 
think all our mothers did when, years ago, didn't they? Say things to you that didn't make much sense to you. Stop your howling or I'll hit you or something like that. <laughs> That's not good. I thought I was allowed out. Oh, yeah, you know what thought did, she'd say. No, I don't know what thought. This <laughs> is what I thought. Anyway, that's gone. That's enough, sorry. <laughs> she said a lot of things I, I just can't remember now, but there was not much that I liked behind the saying, so. Wishing when one hand and whatever in the other and see which one gets full first. That was another thing. She always said to us. <laughs> right, I mean, I don't know if any of you probably heard it too. I mean, surely it wouldn't be only hers saying it, it would have been something that come from when she was young, maybe. I don't know if I could imagine me, me Nana saying that though. And yeah, maybe she did. Right, quite right off the subject now. Keep going round here. Make it a bit, a bit, um, it's still going to be, it's going to come up on there, look, see, and it's going to still have the, but I'm not going to do it any further than this row round, all right, because I want to see that looking like that, you know what I mean? If we go too far, we'll cover our leaf in. You would even just probably do half the leaf anyway, if you wanted to, just come and fill in half half of it with something It's good, isn't it? I like this. I do like how this looks. And it looks cool. I do like it. I'll move down a bit so it'll be. I'll put it, add, add, add another one in just for fun in that same stitch. So the holes are not too big. You can just, you know, do yours to, to your specifications, whatever you feel like you want to do. Because that's the idea, you know, you want to have fun with it. I'm picking up the wrong thing here, am I? Where am I, Sonia? Here we are. Very good. Okie dokie. Right, now that can go down there. I'm just going to leave that, I'm not going to bring it up any further, but I do want to put something on this in the centre of it because I want it to have a, have this piece up the middle, okay? I have to go back down in there because I'm not right in the centre where I'd like that to be and I lifted that up a bit and I'm not going to be happy with that so I'm going to I'm doing it again come over here you <laughs> just stitch down there and stay there that's the way righto now I might come up from here you can hear somebody I don't know if they're coming here, I think they're somebody out there walking. Right, might be on the road and might be on the path, I don't think. So that I'm going to bring down here. I might do it the same as that. Maybe not. I'm just going to put a straight stitch down there. OK. 
okay and then we'll go I might go pierce through the thread I'm going through that cotton there something we should not do really when we're doing something where are you must have caught on something else I oh, gotcha right and go down here right through oops And then I'll get up through here. This is just me trying to save a bit of thread by going this direction. Okay. Go through the thread. Because then you're sort of couching it down a bit, aren't you, by going through it so it won't move. Now I'll come up this side here. I'm going to go through the thread too. Again, up there, just doing some straight stitches. Go up through here again, straight stitch up there. Whoops, I thought I was going through the bit of tape, but it's not, so that's good. Come across here through the thread again. across here I don't think it matters if it's not exactly even these ones because George is iron isn't it please yourself what you do with it oh, come on <laughs> I'm actually going to work on another orange and green thing later on. I've just got this. Now I'm leaning on my elbow again and making my fingers go numb because I'm must be pressing on a nerve. Is it too close? Oh, I think it is. To get that out of there, and thread it again. And we still see what we're doing. Oh, good. I hope you've been able to see this. That'd be very nice if you can't, will it? Right, let's see where we're going to go next. I think I'm missing something down here. I'll oh, do another one down here. Go through there. That looks nice. That's better. Maybe even up the top here, I need another bit. There we go. I like it. I am liking that. Oh no. There we go, we've done that bit. So I do like how I've done that. If I didn't, I wouldn't leave it there, would I? You know me. Right, now just a quick little bit more, because I don't want to finish it yet, because I still want to do more. <laughs> um, I think I might have a few minutes, I don't know, we'll have a try. If it's not, I'm so sorry if you missed the end of this. Um, I'm trying to just get, get a bit of done in here because I want to put green in that. I'm going to put green in there. Piece of thread, so a bit of thread, bit of thread. Right. Because that will bring it together a bit better. Just a, just a slight bit, you watch this. I think it will anyway. I have those beads there, but I'm not going to use them. I want a smaller one like I used in the butterfly. I want to use those. I don't know how you'd go about threading this with those um, the piece of paper. I don't think that'd work. Oh, somebody told me how to. Uh, Stephanie told me how to thread these ones. These bead needles. Um, because both your hands aren't doing. I don't know. <laughs> Sonia, oh, Sonia had a bit of a senior moment there. Sorry about this. I'm going to try and see if I can put this through there, and I did, because some of these. Wash names won't go through your bead needles because they've got really tiny eyes on them, haven't they? I've got that through. I've got it. And, and then I pull a piece of um, wire off them if I'm not careful. Come on. Get that out of there. Righto. Stop playing the fool with me. I'm busy. Okay. Now, we're going to put some of these little green beads in here. I think so. See what happens, eh? Let's see how that works. 
because I sat those on there and I thought that looked good but these are smaller and therefore they're not going to be too overpowering you know because you don't want to overpower it you just want to help it blend in okay so come on first up we've got a knot and that's where that come out right oh nobody panic with the knot okay you can see that yes okay so you can but <laughs> okay I don't know there's a just going to put the odd ones around and see what happens see if it looks a bit oh because I think it looks a bit sparse so Kill me butterfly. And you know what? I just picked up that bag with that butterfly in there. So it was just there. You know what I mean? It was <laughs> um Terry she just suggested I put a butterfly there. I thought about it, I put an I think I put another one there and it didn't look right, so I just picked up the bag and it had these orange and green beads in it and there was a group of orange butterfly there. Just the thing. He's like made out like a sequin thing, he is. Like a sequence. And this is a bit better, isn't it? It's a bit more um, substantial, you know, there's more to the thing. Nice flower. Had this. And if I think it needs more, I can just... I don't think it does though, don't you reckon? It looks really cool. If I'd have put the, excuse me, if I'd have put the thing in the middle, too much talking, breathing, all that air, give me the hiccups and things. If I um, put something a little bit darker in the middle, might have been a, like a bit more, I don't know, brighter or something. But I don't know, this is working for me. I like this. I do like this. Now, it's going good. Still more to go. What do you reckon? Do you think there's more to go? I do. There's more to go. There's lots more to go. So we're going to keep working on it till we get it done. The more the better. Sometimes more is more. Is more. more looks better. <laughs> like I said, we need something. <coughs> on the yellow, excuse me, to, 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 to bring it together too. Because we have some few, few orange bits. I like the pieces to all go together, I do. I suppose everybody does, when it, really, when they're doing their, their work, they need it to all come together nicely. Could even add a few more orange ones. I don't know yet, but if I need to. <coughs> dear, oh dear. The, um, I started out only putting one about, now then I've got to two, now I'm adding in more in each, in each space, but... It's okay. Don't have a bit of panic. It'll look good. It'll look good. Nothing like a bit of bling. Put a grub on here too, eh? What do you reckon? We, should do, we probably should have a grub on there too. <laughs> he could be orange. A little orange or yellow grub. So I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, well, see, if I do too much, you're not going to be able to um, see that the lace is underneath there, are you? But I, when you think about it, you're only using the lace as a, a guide to put your work onto, you know. Um, if I decided I wanted to put those orange ones all down that line, then that would take away, you wouldn't be able to see the, the, piece, uh, the, the piece of lace under there. Because it doesn't really matter though, does it? It's just whatever you think it's needed, I suppose. I don't think I need to do that. I think it might look better like this. The, the more spotty the better, I think. It looks pretty good. It's pretty good spotty. It does. 
Nice. Okay. Nearly there. He's got a few more to throw on. I think that looks delicious now. You've got to wait for it because there's going to be more. I think there's got to be more stuff on here. <laughs> more stuff. I'm going to do some of them leaves too now. I don't know what it's going to be, but I'm, I think I'm thinking I want to see something a bit more. Even if it's gold of some sort on near them, around them, whatever. But then I can put some orange bits about. Apricot orangey colour bits about. Put these couple more in these top ones. Can you see that it's going better? Can can anybody see that this is working? Or don't you believe that? I mean it's okay if you don't think it looks right. Just let me know what you reckon. I think it looks right. Um, it's just other everybody's got different tastes in things though, haven't they? But I thought it was very sparse. The little orange ones, so they needed something in, in there to go with it. They did. Look out to the outside a bit further there, Sonia. So that looks pretty cool, I think. One more. I forgot to put antenna, longer antennas on that bloke there. Okay. So what do you reckon now? Isn't that pretty cool? I do like that. That's that's jazzy, that is. That's really jazzy.